Hi, my name is John Salzman. I'm a consultant knee surgeon from Germany as well as in Switzerland. Today I'm gonna compare the AutoCAD procedure with uh, ACI. To my consideration, also underlined by current evidence, the best way to treat cartilage defects is by using chondrocytes, optimally using autologous chondrocytes. The idea to repair cartilage defects by using chondrocytes is typically not new. It has been developed in Sweden as well as in the US by Mats Spritberg, Lars Peterson, and in the US by Daniel Grandy in developing ACI, where you in a first arthroscopic minimally invasive surgery take out some cartilage from a low or non-weight bearing area, then proliferate the cartilage in the lab and four to six to eight weeks later transplant uh, the autologous chondrocytes in the setting of an ACI. ACI has a very long proven track record over 30 years now and um, the clinical impact and the clinical outcome is very clear, even though there are publications out there um, that show uh, superiorities of other concurring products over um, ACI. What all cartilage products have in common, and also this is true for ACI, there seems to be a final score barrier of approximately 80 points on the CUS or IKDC or Lissholm score. So ACI is also not an absolutely perfect uh, procedure. Furthermore, we in our own studies have shown that the sporting activity following ACI after a couple of years is also reduced. Furthermore, many subjects show ongoing OR changes within the knee joint. In realization of an ACI procedure, you take a biopsy from usually a non-weight bearing or low weight bearing area. And it has been nicely shown in different lab studies that there is a certain topology across the knee joint and low weight bearing cartilage biopsies are underperforming when you compare those with load bearing chondrocytes uh, as well as cartilage um, biopsies. It has been shown that the chondrogenic differentiation as well as uh, proliferation potential of defect specific cartilage is much better than non weight bearing cartilage. Furthermore, and this is very old evidence, but still underlined and underlined uh, frequently, you see a, a certain de-differentiation process of the chondrocytes when you culture those in the lab, meaning with every population doubling, the chondrogenic ability of the chondrocytes are reducing, and after certain population doublings, you have more of a fibroblastic appearance of the initial chondrocyte, which means de-differentiation. Selected evidence is underlying that the chondrocytes, when you culture those in the lab, they are getting older. The telomere length is reduced, which is called senescence. And in that state, you are transplanting chondrocytes with the idea of ACI in a de-differentiated, also older state. In selected ACI procedures, for example, Macy, you need to perform it matrix assisted. So you culture the chondrocytes on the matrix or you put your chondrocytes under a matrix. The problem with the matrix is that it has to be digested at first before the chondrocytes can get active. And furthermore, in selected cases, uh, the membranes are causing immunologic responses. With the AutoCAD procedure, you don't need a matrix. You're going in fully autologous and no matrix has to be digested. The chondrocytes can get active right away. With the AutoCAD procedure, and this is also clear, uh, advantage over Macy where you have to suture the membrane to the surrounding cartilage. You have your uh, specific cannula devices where you apply the chips autologous fluid construct across the defect and then you can easily divide those to cover up the lesion. You don't need a matrix and uh, you can even if you uh, wait for the clotting potential of the autologous fluid, you, you can use the chips mix as a matrix and put that down in the defect um, directly. And also current evidence is underlying that you see better early and late clinical outcome when you don't use any uh, foreign material such a membrane, when you only transplant uh, chondrocytes as the way of cells only, because then the chondrocytes can get active right after transplantation. Interestingly, the same idea has been published by Rainer Siebold 
uh, using a fourth generation ACI product where also chondrocytes in the way of ACI are transplanted without any surrounding matrix with a very good clinical as well as MRI outcome. And what I've seen in my clinical subjects after ACI, you see knee effusion and pain over the first three, even six months, which often is related to the digestion and the response of the knee joint to the existing matrix. The de-differentiated chondrocytes have to re-differentiate within the lesion and the matrix has to be digested. With the AutoCAD procedure, because it is usually atroscopic, quick, and a single stage procedure, you see a rather quick rehabilitation. And in my subjects, often you see after six weeks, not much swelling and pain in the knee joint without the necessity of using crutches anymore. Furthermore, and this is a also major difference to ACI, you are not taking non or low weight bearing cartilage, you are taking full weight bearing cartilage from the defect area, from the defect edge. For that you have location specific cartilage and you transplant it with a correct topology, meaning for example, if you have a patella cartilage defect, you take patella cartilage, patella chondrocytes to transplant these back to the patella, which is very important for chondrocyte transplantation. We have shown in a multicenter trial across Switzerland that the cell viability, proliferation rate, cartilage quality, as well as the chondrogenic ability of defect edge cartilage is very, very strong with a very good cellular quality, even coming directly adjacent to the defect. With regard to chondrocyte quantity with the AutoCAD procedure, if you have, for example, a chip size of one by one by one millimeter, you have approximately 10,000 chondrocytes per chip. And if you have a typical defect size of one square centimeter with a defect depth of approximately 2.5 millimeter, meaning medial femoral condyle typical defect with a packing density of approximately 0.5. You can transplant approximately 125 chips per square centimeter and um, minus the vitality of approximately 70 to 80 percent, you are transplanting 1 million chondrocytes per square centimeter defect size, which is actually exactly what Mats Britberg and Lars Peterson in the early 80s suggested for chondrocyte transplantation with regard to chondrocyte quantity. Directly comparing to ACI, you are not transplanting naked chondrocytes, but you are transplanting chondrocytes that are still attached to the PCM. PCM is the pericellular matrix directly adjacent to the chondrocyte, and many important things are happening at the pericellular matrix, which is why Tsuyoguchi from Japan in a direct comparison of naked chondrocytes to minced cartilage showed a clear beneficial effect in the lab with regard to chondrogenic proliferation and as well as differentiation directly comparing naked chondrocytes to minced cartilage. When you then in the next step combine the particulate cartilage with autologous fluid, you have a very nice paste and this paste like a toothpaste is very easy for transplantation. And then you have a autologous fluid boosted, very highly active substance to cover up the lesion. And finally, in a direct comparison of ACI to the AutoCAD procedure, the AutoCAD procedure is a one-stage procedure. You have location-specific fully weight-bearing cartilage. You usually do not see any senescence in the cells. You clearly don't see any de-differentiation. After transplantation, there's no re-differentiation required. Usually no matrix is required. You have clearly augmented cartilage repair. It is not a medical product. Usually in direct comparison to ACI, it is a cheaper product. You can react spontaneously during the operation if you see a large cartilage tear and so on. The evidence supporting the AutoCAD procedure in direct comparison to ACI is clearly not as strong because it is a new technique. The technique uh, in uh, real life may be a little harder when you directly compare it to ACI, but after a certain learning curve, you will get very confident with the AutoCAD procedure. Thank you very much.